This is a demonstration of an inertial measurement unit in the making. Here I'm using an embed microcontroller connected to a rate gyro and a accelerometer magnetometer combination sensor chip. Each one of these sensors resolves three different directions, X, Y, and Z. And you can see the data in the upper right. I have the rate gyro information from the chip, the accelerometer information, and the magnetometer information. At the moment, I'm not using the rate gyro information, only the accelerometer and magnetometer. First, I'll display the resultant accelerometer vector information. The combination of X, Y, and Z axes of the sensor is being used to produce a resultant gravity vector. This vector is aligned with the Earth's gravitational pull on the sensor or on the three sensor components. In this orientation, the gravity vector is aligned with the Z axis or up axis of the sensor. If I tilt the sensor, you'll see that the alignment now is with or close to the X axis or tilting the other direction close to the y-axis or a combination of all three. The magnetometer displays the resultant of the Earth's magnetic field pull on the three axes of the magnetometer X, Y, and Z. This is the direction north except that the Earth's magnetic field at this point is about 60 degrees from horizontal, so it tips downward. So if I were to align the sensor vertical with the magnetic north direction approximately, you'd see the sensor is now facing downward, but northernly. We can construct a coordinate system using these two vectors, and I'll do so displaying north and east positions aligned with the horizon. Using these vectors, up the gravity vector, east and north, we can now create a transform that will take us from that system to the system of the sensor such that we will make that our, our frame of reference. So here we have north, east, and up oriented with the Earth's horizon. So now as we rotate the sensor, we can display its orientation with respect to north, east, up. Switching back to the sensor view, we can look at the gyro contribution, which is not currently integrated into the model. And here, I display the rate gyro resultant vector and its magnitude is the length of the vector. So the faster th that the sensor is turned, the greater the length of the vector. So here I'm rotating approximately around x and let me turn off the north and east vectors and gravity vector just to simplify the diagram. So if we rotate the gyro around the vertical axis, there you can see the resultant gyro vector. The reason for the gyro or the usefulness of it is the accelerometer vector is sensitive to linear acceleration of the sensor. Let me turn off the gyro and let me illustrate that. So here, if the sensor is not being accelerated, it faithfully detects the up position. But if we accelerate the sensor, even though I'm maintaining the vertical direction, you can see that the linear accelerations are affecting the resultant gravity vector. Consequently, it is making us think that the, the sensor is tilting, or we can't, we can't uh, discern the tilt from the linear accelerations, and that's where the gyro will come in handy. The gyroscope produces rate information, but we can integrate that to get our orientation. 
but over the long run the accelerometer is ultimately the sensor that will give us our up direction.